Want to get to breaking news just into the newsroom. ESPN reporting that Stephanie White is the new head coach for the Indiana Fever. She just left the Connecticut Sun. She's a former Fever player, also was an assistant coach for the team in the past. And if you remember, she was also a, just a standout at Purdue uh, when she played for Purdue a number of years ago. And she was also one of the names people had been talking about as a potential new head coach for the Indiana Fever. Stephanie White has just been announced as the new head coach for the Indiana Fever, as ESPN reports. White, a former Fever player and assistant coach, brings deep connections to Indiana and has an impressive history with the team. Caitlin Clark has came out and she has made a short but sweet endorsement of the hiring of Stephanie White. Fever fans, Get Ready White's return is set to bring big changes and her vision is bold enough to send shockwaves across the entire WNBA. White's arrival marks a major turning point for the Fever, a team that struggled last season. Morning. White, who spent the last two seasons with the Connecticut Sun, is an Indiana native and starred at Purdue. She was also on the Fever's coaching staff from 2011 to 2016 and was head coach for the last two years of that stint. She also played for the team for four seasons. Her approach isn't just about improvement, it's about complete transformation. Adding to the excitement, Caitlin Clark, the team's rising star, has obly supported White's hiring. Not to mention, there's some pretty cool symmetry. You wore number 22 for the yeah. Indiana Fever. I mean, maybe Clark's endorsement of White's vision shows she's ready to take this journey with her. So what's the big deal about a new coach? It's too soon to say, but you could potentially be coaching the last player to ever wear 22 for the Indiana yes. Fever. That's pretty cool. It's, it's very cool. I, I saw when they posted that today, I thought it was uh, unique, certainly. Uh, she, she's a lot better, number 22. She puts the ball in the hole a lot more. For starters, why has years of experience as a player to coach within the Fever organization? She's an Indiana native and was a standout player at Purdue before joining the Fever. She wore the number 20 to Jersey proudly as a player and later brought her talents to the sidelines as a coach from 2011 to 2016. In her last two years of that period, she served as the head coach, guiding the team through its highs and lows. This return isn't just a career move for White, it's personal. She's been a part of the Fever family from the beginning, and her legacy includes the team's only WNBA championship in 2012. The Fever's sole climb to the top happened with White as a key leader. This winning experience is exactly what she's bringing back to Indiana now. After leaving Indiana, White took on new challenges and made a name for herself with the Connecticut Sun. Of course, Christy side, she hits the bricks, and they bring in a coach that's a defensive-minded coach, and um, I think she's got a pedigree of success as a coach of the year from 2023, of course, two semifinal playoff appearances and she's got all kinds of Indiana ties. She turned them into one of the league's top defensive teams and guided them to the semifinals two years in a row, proving her ability to elevate a team. In 2023, White was even named WNBA Coach of the Year, solidifying her reputation as one of the best. Now, the Fever are gaining a coach at her peak. White's enthusiasm isn't only about the past, but also the future. She's excited to work with a talented young roster, including Caitlin Clark, Alia Boston, and Kelsey Mitchell. Her excitement is palpable. She discusses this next chapter in women's basketball, one she's determined to be part of in her home state. And secondly, this young, exciting roster. You think about a generational player in Caitlin Clark and back-to-back -back Rookie of the Years with Aaliyah Boston. Kelsey Mitchell, I think, had the best year of her career. It's just an exciting roster. What an outstanding moment we have in women's basketball right yeah. now. And to come back and be a part of it in my home state with my home franchise, it's just a unique opportunity. And I'm so thankful and grateful for it. White sees an incredible opportunity to help these young players unlock their potential and take the fever to new heights. One of the most exciting aspects of White's strategy revolves around Caitlin Clark. White has followed Clark's journey since she was in eighth grade, showing a genuine dedication and understanding of Clark's abilities. Now, with the chance to coach her, 
White is ready to help Clark elevate her game even further. I'm very excited to be working with her and, and this young team. Clark's skills and White's experience make for a promising combination that could lead the Fever to unprecedented success. Since joining the WNBA, Clark has made headlines for her outstanding performance. She shattered records, becoming the first rookie to record a triple-double and setting a WNBA record with 19 assists in one game. We should be excited about the future of the Indiana Fever. And I'm telling you right now, bro, this is just the beginning. Despite her efforts, the Fever still struggled, making it to the playoffs for the first time since 2016 but falling short of true championship contention. White's return aims to change that. White plans to build a system that fully leverages Clark's unique abilities. Rather than simply relying on her individual talents, White wants to create a team-oriented strategy that highlights Clark's strengths. This approach isn't just about enhancing Clark's game. It's about raising the entire team's performance level. With a big three lineup featuring Clark, Kelsey Mitchell, and Aliyah Boston, White's strategy has the potential to make the Fever serious contenders. Many of us felt like that this team underachieved this year. You've got a big three. Anytime you've got a big three in basketball, you should be not getting eliminated immediately upon arriving in the playoff. She's not just focused on winning games. She wants to establish a winning culture and create a foundation for long-term success. White's vision is to turn the fever from underdogs into champions by blending talent, strategy, and a relentless drive to succeed. This partnership between White and Clark is unique. Clark's open support for White's hiring shows her readiness to embrace White's vision. Clark is hungry for growth and ambitious to become one of the best players in the world. Yeah, perfect big three. And you've heard what I've said. Um, this team's got a big three, and in professional basketball, if you've got a three, you got a chance. And they got Lexi Hull. Of course, she's a uh, she can play defense. She can rebound. She's a hustling energy spark plug on this team. This combination of a motivated rookie and an experienced coach could be game-changing for the Fever. Stephanie White's return to the Fever signals the beginning of a new era not only for the team, but potentially for the WNBA as a whole. With White's history of success and Clark's rising talent, the Fever are poised to become a team that others in the league will watch closely. Fans can expect this dynamic partnership to bring thrilling moments, and White's impact could reshape the Fever into a force to be reckoned with. Said a lot of people is pretty much saying Stephanie White is the next great coach she's the next Cheryl Reeve in that aspect a lot of people has been comparing her to Cheryl Reeve Cheryl Reeve got a lot of championships can she win another one in Indiana this new chapter for the Indiana fever isn't just about reclaiming past glories it's about building a legacy that can stand the test of time on marshmallow well what is here to change that She's a defensive-minded coach with a proven record, and she's going to make sure the Fever become one of the toughest defensive teams in the league. With her experience coaching the Connecticut Sun to back-to-back semifinal appearances through solid defense, she knows exactly how to get her players to lock down on the court. So when White says she's got a plan, you better believe it's going to be a game-changer. But it's not just about the on-court strategy. White has a special vision for building a culture within the fever culture of winning, hard work, and unity. She's made it clear that her goal isn't just to get the fever into the playoffs. It's to establish a championship mindset that stays for years to come. For a team that hasn't tasted major success since its 2012 WNBA championship win, this is huge. White knows what it takes to create a winning team, and she's set on creating that same energy again. And with players like Clark, Boston, and Mitchell on the roster, she's got all the right pieces to make it happen. White's familiarity with the Fever and Indiana basketball culture adds an extra layer of confidence. This isn't just another job for her, it's a personal mission. She's coming back to Indiana, not just as a coach, but as someone who has been part of this franchise from its early days.
White's history with the Fever, her understanding of the city's basketball-loving community, and her genuine passion for the game make her the ideal person to take on this role. Let's also talk about how White's return is energizing not just the team, but also the Fever's fanbase. Fans who have been supporting the Fever through thick and thin are now filled with a new sense of excitement. They're rallying around White's arrival and can't wait to see what she bring to the court. Fever fans have had to endure some tough seasons, but now they're hopeful again, ready to back the team with renewed spirit. And it's not just fans who are excited WNBA insiders are buzzing about the potential of this new chapter for the Fever. Analysts and former players are weighing in, praising White's track record and expressing confidence that she's the right fit to turn things around. Many believe that the Fever could become a real force under her guidance, especially with the promising young roster that includes standout rookies and rising stars.